Welcome everyone, I'm Theater Press Dior, and you guys are probably thinking, oh god, not this game again, this game took forever to finish. Well, yes, I'm going to be playing Labyrinth of Toho again, but it's going to be a little bit different this time around, and I'm getting frame rate like crazy. Whatever. Anyway, so, I had to, uh, well, for one, I had to reinstall this game, because it was giving me some weird errors when I was doing New Game Plus, but, that's New Game Plus save, which is just, literally, um, start of the game with New Game Plus, which means I have access to all the characters, but I, I chose the options where I go without any of the items or skill points or anything like that. So all I have is all the characters. So you probably see here. Yeah, I have all the characters. So on the um, Toho forums, there's actually there's been multiple threads over the uh, Labyrinth of Toho, and someone introduced an idea called a draft mode, where you and two other players uh, people will start a lap with a Toho game, but will be drafted with uh, multiple characters. So, how it works is, if, as you're aware, with, with the plus disc, you end up having 40 characters, which means uh, with all the with all three of us doing a party of 12, that will leave um, that uses up 36 characters, and then there'll be four that are not uh, done. So the way the draft works is, we the three people participating will do a random, you know, roll to decide who goes first and who goes last. And from there, we first pick the four characters to ban from the list. Like, those characters cannot be voted on, cannot be used for the playthrough. So, the first one is decided amongst the majority. Um, so, anyone that, any two people that can decide on a character, that character gets uh, removed, gets banned from the uh, list. So, to uh, make this a little bit easier, let's with the banning characters. So the characters that have been banned, the first, the first one was the, um, the one that was voted on, and that ended up being Melee. She's the top tank in, the, in this game, and any party with this character can pretty much uh, have it a free ride. So, she got voted off. Um, the two people participating are Tangriel and Rykaria, if I pronounced this correctly. I apologize if I, if, I, apologize if I did uh, as far as the order of who gets to uh, choose first, uh, Tang goes first, then Rai, and then me. So, so with Mei Ling voted off, the next band was went to uh, Tang Riel, who voted on. Sorry for the uh, frame rate. Nettering. So we got Nettering, and then Rai came next, and he or she voted on Eco. So. Pretty much top DPS damage, uh, physical DPS, and then the top uh, buff, attack buffer and, uh, have been uh, removed off the list. And then it came to my turn, and I kind of just went off the wall and picked uh, Renazuki. Renazuki is not really that overpowered. Um, he is a tank sort of character, but he's not particularly a reliable one due to his low stamina. But uh, I picked him simply because I haven't forgiven him for to Toho Soccer 2, so that's my reasoning behind it. All right. So with that, it went on to the votes. Um, the way we're, we continue in the same order as before, and each character, will, each person will pick a character, and they'll add that to their team until we all have 12 characters. So these are the banned characters: Mailing, Nettery, Iku, and Renazuki. So that leaves 36 characters left. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the person that went first, and just go in order. So the way it went is it went Tangriel, Rykaria, then me, then me again, and then. It back around, so it's kind of like a little pendulum order. So I'm not, so me being last isn't exactly the worst thing in the world, because I pretty much get the act, and then I get the vote again, and then Rykaria, and then Tangriel, and then he, he gets the vote again, and then just back and forth like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and start with Tangriel. He's, uh, I'll be doing these votes more or less in order, based off his turns. Some of them might be flip-flop, simply because he got the vote twice in a row. So characters. He opened with a... He opened with a buff... a, a tanky buffer. Key. Then went with a healer. By this point, um, pretty much all the healers were taken, so he had he was stuck with taking Sine. And then he went for another tanky character. This time an actual tanky character, Vermillion. Then went straight for... straight for gold and went for Mystia. So she's got Mystia with, uh, or he got Mystia with, you know, the random, uh, with the awesome debuffs. Uh, 
good support effects and really good attack power. Next, uh, Tang went ahead to Riddle, which says you can pretty much build Riddle as a, a, a tanky poisoner type character, and then he went straight for Chen, one of the best physical DPSers in the game. Then he went straight for Suika, which is over here. Suika, and this is kind of a mage tanky physical attacker. It has some kind of unique support effects. Um, Tang went for a lot of weird uh, self-buffing and unique support effects, it seems like. Um, also, went with Alice as a uh, composite spellcaster. And, alright, and for more spellcasting action, he went ahead and went with... Uh, at this point, people realize that no one has really voted on any spellcasters, so we're starting to knock them out. So, Moko, a tanky firecaster. Then you got... Marabell, which you guys probably remember from my playthrough. And at this point the list was getting very small and he was the last one to vote. No way he wasn't. Well he was the last one to vote, but not in this particular transition. He ended up taking Mar uh, on his turn he took both Mar Maribel and Marissa at the same time, so he took both those casters out. And then he was the last vote, um, which left the one person that was left at the time was Mitsuo. So this is uh Angry Elf Party, which was King, Sene, Vermilia, Mistia, Riggle, Chen, Suika, Alice, Moko, Maribel, Marissa, and Atsuo. Not a big deal, I'm just kind of just showing this for, uh, showing what the other people picked. You guys won't be seeing them play, you'll just see me play most of the time. About pretty much all the time. Anyway, I'll go ahead and do Rikaria next, because, well, why not? So, Rikaria opened off with a tank. It's the only other tank, really, Tenchi. Then went straight for a healing buffer, Remu. Then went for speedy, uh, well, speed support and physical damage, which is Aya. Then he went for a debuffer, Ryzen. Then he went for status effects and debuffing. Just, yeah, just took Rinko right out. Uh, then went for essentially a, a t uh, well, a damage spot, or you can make her into a, a physical attacker, Kamachi. And he really needed casters and DPS in general, so he went for Kagia. Also has support effects as well. Then Oren for more damage. Then let's see, Yomu, physical attacker. Uh, support, and, well, support and some single target magic, really. And then the last two were kind of just here in, just because. Uh, usually, if you have Komachi, it's generally an okay idea to take here in. So, you uh, Rikaria went and took here in. And then his or her final vote was on Kanako. Which is kind of funny because Kanako is a really, really good character. Um, so yeah, this was kind of, kind of a wacky sort of uh, draft because um, my strategy wasn't really much of a strategy. I was trying to, uh, I picked some characters in the beginning to make sure I had, had a decent uh, base to stand on, but then I tried to stick with characters I'd never used before, or at least never fully beat the game with. Um, so most of the characters I'm already familiar with, um, though a few of them I haven't actually done a full playthrough with. Usually I drop them later on and replace them with someone else. So that was kind of my idea. So I opened up with the um, best healer in the game, or one of the best healers. Well, I, I want to say she's the best healer, Minoriko. And then from there, I went straight for buffs. Just support buffs that are reasonably uh, tanky characters as well. So I went ahead and got Yukari and Ram. Pretty much my opening vote was Minoriko, then Yukari, and then when it was my turn again, I went ahead and got more buffers, which was Ran and Sakia. When I hit my turn again, pretty much every time I hit my turn, I was getting two votes. So Sakia, and then I went straight for uh, some unique damage dealers that I'd never used before, which was uh, Shikieki and. There, I went ahead and picked 
picked up some, ca some casters I'm very familiar with. Um, just I went ahead and went with a safe grab for the spell spellcasters at first, which was uh, Patchouli, because she has a variety of elements. And then I took a non-safe so, so safe one, which was Yuka, who was very uh, focused on her type of damage. So then there was Suwaku. I took Suwaku simply because no one else was, and I kind of wanted a, a reliable paralysis character, so Suwaku. And then I went ahead and took a not so uh, reliable character, Yu Yuko, who's a kind of a spirit caster type character. And it looks like I didn't update your picture. Oh well, we'll deal with that later. And then the final two, oddly enough, no one picked up Flandra. And so I was like, fine, I'll just pick up Flandra. I've beaten the game with Flandra before, but uh, since no one else was using her, and I'm pretty good with her, so I went ahead and picked her up. And then for a final, someone was kind of whispering me to go ahead and pick this character, and I was like, eh, might as well. Because it was either that or I was going to pick up Atsuo. I could have picked up Kaneko at this point and been really mean to the other two people, but I really didn't care to do so. And I've already beaten the game with Kaneko, so... I went ahead and picked up Cerna. So this is my group. Minoriko, Yukari, Ran, Sakya, Shikiaki, Yugi, Pacholi, Yuka, Suwaku, Yuko, Flandra, and Cerno. So, anyone that's familiar with this game might notice a few things. One, I don't have a tank. Literally, I have no actual main tank. Usually a tanky character that you put in the first slot is someone that can actually endure both types of damage. And really, I don't have that. Um, the only person that's pretty average... Well, actually, I have a few characters that can be kind of tanky. Yukari's pretty tanky, but she's more of a second slot tank. So, really, the only two people that can really fill the slot for tank... Excuse me is uh, Yugi, who's really tanky for physical, but completely vulnerable to magic. Or, um, Sakia, who's kind of average in both uh, defense and mind. So, these two are probably going to end up being my main tanks, and then my second slot will probably be Yukari, or someone. That or I'll just put Sakia in the second slot, who knows. So, I have a lot of powerful buffs. Um, I have speed buffs, I have uh, defense buffs, I also have a variety of and defense buffs that work on even characters outside the uh, main party, or the main front lines. And um, I also have some instant death attacks, which is going to make my first few battles very, very easy, because uh, the first all the way up to um, Yomu, at least, is uh, they're vulnerable to uh, instant death attacks. So that'll be fun to mess around with. Um, Shikieki is going to be pretty reliable as well, so the, once she gets uh, once she gets SP, um, she'll be able to do a lot of piercing damage, which is going to be awesome. Um, everyone else is pretty reliable. It's, my biggest issue is I don't really have a tank. It's a big, that's the biggest issue. The second issue is I don't have any way to remove status effects. I have, I have ways to remove uh, or reduce uh, debuffs with Yuka, but other than that, I, if I get hit with a status effect, I'm going to be very, very cool. Sorry for the frame rate, by the way, if you've noticed it. Whoa, that's pretty nasty. All right. But yeah, as far as, um, but despite the fact I don't have any way to remove status effects, uh, most of my characters have... Uh, did I get one? Yes, I did. I'll go this way. Um, most of my characters have at least 20 and a, uh, status resistance, so they're pretty reliable. Some characters are flat out already at 30 with, like, uh, Yuka's paralysis and poison uh, resistance. Uh, some characters are not so resistant, but they can actually uh, be swapped in and out. All I have to really get is a few items on a few characters, and I'll be okay as far as status effects are going. So, that's going to be the thing. And, yeah, this is going to be my party, so let's go ahead and save the game real quick. And, one thing I just want to make sure... Okay. I was just checking the experience levels, because I've been having a weird bug, where sometimes when I do New Game Plus, it starts giving random amounts of experience to the, all the other characters. Also, I apologize if the music's a little loud. I'll try to reduce it as much as possible. Anyway, uh, we're going to switch to well, music. We're going to go ahead and record our save here. And uh, we're good to go. I don't think we have anything. Yeah, we don't have any gear. We don't have any skill points. We're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and go into another space. I'm just going to do the first few uh, boss fights, and we'll go from there. So uh, the way I'm going to be recording this is I'm not going to show any of the exploration. I'm just going to show main boss fights. Um, so any all the character fights I will be showing. And I'll also show some of the uh, major other sorts of boss fights that are avail available. Um, 
I'll probably not do any commentary, uh, so it'll just be the game playing out, and uh, they're going to be pretty short videos, and I'm probably just going to upload them on Sundays. So that's just something to mess around with. Anyway, the road to from nature. Yeah, I'm just going to skip all the text. You guys can watch my playthrough if you really care to read it. Yeah, 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 I know all this. Oh yeah, I probably should like... thing we have to deal with is a lot of our characters have very expensive moves. But it looks like most of us will be okay. Damn, Shikiyaki really, literally has barely enough SP to do it as a, uh, a move. <laughs> Which is not exactly uh, ideal, but you know how it is. Okay, 
see the text, you can watch my original playthrough. Oh, there goes Star now, that's okay. this when I originally played the game, but I didn't do a new game plus run through. Um, well, I think I, already, oh, I just said, I actually said all this already, but uh, as I mentioned before, the uh, first few bosses are formed with instant death, and I have two characters with instant death attacks, uh, Shigeaki and Yuko. So that's why I have no issues with showing this fight. Fortunately, I did lose turnout, so let me be right back, and we'll be uh, fighting Mei Ling next. Okay, I'm on my way to fight Mei Ling. I went ahead and took the uh, shortcut of the uh, alternate route. That way I can unlock the secret boss. But I won't be fighting him anytime soon, so no worries there. I'm almost there. You don't have an FSP. So I'll just be a simple little uh, Sunday video to go off of. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it.